Hello, my name is Brianna Grant. I am a first year, five year MBA major from Bear, Delaware. And today I would like to welcome you to the Holly Tree Inn. Holly Tree was constructed in 1888 during the time which Samuel Chapman Armstrong was the principal. The facility was designed and built by Hampton students. A three-story residence hall, the inn over time has served as a residence hall for single women, faculty, staff members, and currently is used for students. There is an adjoining dining room for faculty, staff, and visitors. My name is Brianna Grant. I'm a first year, five year MBA major from Bear, Delaware. And today I would like to welcome you to the Booker T. Washington Memorial. Booker T. Washington was commissioned by Hampton University, formerly Hampton Institute, in 1983. It was cast by Fine Arts Foundry in Clarkson, Mi Michigan. The 9 foot 4 inches bronze realistic representation of Booker T. Washington rests on a 6 foot granite base. It was dedicated May 12, 1984, during the time that our president, Dr. Willie R. Harvey, has become president. Architects for the project were Le Levis and Associates of Norfolk, Virginia. The statue is located between the Harvey Library and the Martha Luther King. Hi, I'm Sharice McAdoo, a first year marketing major, entrepreneurship minor from Detroit, Michigan. And my building is Harkness Hall. Harkness Hall is a male freshman residence hall constructed in 1954. It is a brick building with a capacity of 249 persons. It was funded by the United Negro College Fund and named in honor of Edward Stephen Harkness, a billionaire, Standard Oil producer, and philanthropist. Alonzo G. Mort Moron was the president during the construction of Harkness Hall. He was Hampton's eighth president and first black. Harkness men are known to be too smooth. The Emancipation Oak is not only a historical site at Hampton University, but a national site as well. It is the site where President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation was read in 1863. It was also the site where Mary Peek taught her first black class on September 17, 1861. During 1863, General Butler founded the Butler School for Negro Children. The Hampton, Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute would not open until April 1st, 1868, with the leadership of General Samuel Armstrong. Mary Bacon, a freshman psychology major from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and this is James Hall. James Hall was completed in 1914 under the presidency of Hollis Burke Frisco by students in the trade school program. Uh, it is a male residence hall and accommodates 191 residents on five floors without an elevator. It has double and triple capacity work. Bacon, a freshman psychology major from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and this is the Bemis Lab. The Bemis Lab was completed in 1931 during the presidency of Arthur Heil. Uh, it holds the Department of Ar Architecture, and inside they hold classes, studios, and the William H. Moses Library. Lisa Giles, I'm a freshman criminal justice major from Kingsbury, Maryland, and today I'll be talking about the University Cemetery. The University Cemetery is the final resting place for past presidents, students, teachers, and principals. Samuel Armstrong, who is the founder of Hampton Institute, is buried here. And also, George Phoenix is buried here, who is the first president of Hampton. Hi, I'm Ayana Terry, and I'm a first year sport management major from Fredericksburg, Virginia. And my first location is Memorial Church. This location was used for Sunday morning worship and church ministries. The Memorial Church was built in 1866, and at the time, Samuel C. Armstrong was the principal at that time. Its style is architecture, and it's Italian Romanesque. Hi, um, I'm now at Armstrong Slater, and this building houses the program and its various studios for the arts, as well as the Army ROTC headquarters. Holly Frizzle was the president at this time, and this building was dedicated on November 6, 1896. It was named after John F. Slater, who was a wealthy cotton manufacturer who donated $1 million to the uplift of the emancipated slaves in the South by granting them Christian education. This is Asia Zhao. I'm a freshman criminal justice major from Kansas City, Maryland, and today I'll be talking to you about the William R. and Norman B. Harvey Library. This library was, found, was resurrected in 1991. It was dedicated to President Harvey, the 12th president, and the current president, and his wife. It is the main academic library at Hampton University, and it costs 
ten million dollars and it's one hundred twenty five thousand square feet of the library.